All right, thank you guys. Happy Monday to you. Hopefully you had yourself a great weekend, and welcome to College Football Week 13. And of course, this is the Big 12 Conference Edition. My name is Brock Page, and we got a couple interesting games on the slate here in the Big 12. So let's go ahead and dive into them, and we're going to start with a Friday game. I'm talking about Iowa State versus Texas, 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff on Black Friday. Texas is minus two at home, total 61. We're four and one in our last five underdog tier package picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And access to the underdog tier membership costs just $4.99. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more uh, in just a few moments. So we'll clarify that a little bit. We're also two and one in our last three NFL tier membership plays on that site as well. We have over 750 members signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, I'd be more than happy to have you. I strongly recommend it. And link for that website is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now the Longhorns are on a three-game winning streak, two and one against the spread in those three ball games. The Longhorn, uh, Longhorns are also 3 months straight up at home, and they average over 40 points per contest. Sam Ellinger's thrown for over 1,800 yards along with 22 touchdown passes. Sam's also rushed it for 323 and seven scores on the ground as well. His favorite target's Joshua Moore, who has 343 receiving yards and seven touchdowns. Moore also averages 16 yards per catch. Should, be, uh, should see him in action here this week. Friday. He's been a little bit uh, banged up, but anyway, uh, the Longhorns are also rushing for a buck seventy-five at home, and they average seven yards per play from scrimmage at Texas Memorial Stadium. They're taking on an Iowa State team who failed to cover the point spread in two out of their last four themselves. The Cyclones are giving up twenty-seven points per contest on the road, and they failed to cover the point spread in two out of their last three away from home as well. Iowa State is also giving up 400 yards from scrimmage on the road. Total-wise, Iowa State saw three out of their last five ball games stay under the posted number. They're also 7-3 to the under in their last 10 head-to-head meetings with Texas. Meanwhile, the Longhorns on the other side saw two out of their last three stay under the line themselves. Give me the Texas Longhorns minus two. And the under 61 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines of personal leans out for college football week 13. And of course, this is the big 12 conference edition. Now, before we go ahead and dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, just have to quickly remind you once again that we are red hot in our underdog tier package right now on Patreon. And as a matter of fact, we're 4 and 1 in our last five underdog tier package picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to access today's underdog tier package pick, it's only going to cost you just $4.99. We also went 2 and 1 in our last three NFL tier package picks on that site as well. Now, you might be wondering why would I sign up for picks on Patreon where I can get them right here for free on YouTube, just like this video I'm watching right now. And uh, I'll tell you this much, that's thir- uh, it's certainly a great thought, a great consideration. But what I'll tell you is this, if you were to go out there and bet on your phone or go to the sports book and place a bet on every single game that's on the board, side and total, kind of like I do with my breakdowns here on YouTube, uh, it's certainly not a winning formula for success betting every single game. And as a matter of fact, it's a recipe for disaster. The books are way too smart. They're way too sharp with the numbers and the lines. Uh, The odds become massively more against you the more and more games you play like that. And to be honest with you, the bookies just have so much more money than you do to be able to absorb that, that, that kind of action. So what I do on Patreon is Uh, Instead of (laughs) betting on every single game, I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And uh, I'll tell you this much, uh, I'm having a lot more success uh, betting on games that way in in, in a smaller sample size uh, versus wagering on every single game that's on the slate. 
side in total. Now, we do currently have over 750 members signed up and active on that site. So if you're curious, if you wanted to check it out, you're not alone. We got a lot of folks on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, I'd be pleased to have you. I think it's a great idea. And link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Not too proud to beg. I really think you should check out that site. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some Saturday action. And we're going to break down Texas Tech squaring off against Oklahoma State. And I'm just going to buy myself some time here and try to locate it uh, on the big screen behind us. Uh, did I pass it already? Or really no reason it shouldn't be up there. But anyway, uh, that's going to be a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff at Boone Pickens Stadium. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State are minus 10 at home, total 55. Uh, 